So now I'm framing in the back end, and I just got the lights in and hooked up. Okay. So I got six little LED floodlights underneath. One there, one in the middle, one down there. And that's the area where the 360 Optimus system is going to be mounted. Of course, that's the freezer slider. Well, I'm covering the deck, the aft deck, with uh, 0 0.160 aluminum. So I have, uh, I put some step areas in, so when I step down through the cargo hatch, which is this big ombre, it's 44 by 42, I have a flat area to step on. I also have made some step areas or crawl areas there's four of them two on each side and there'll be two down here so i have my uh hoses of course for the fuel have my fuel valves and that's accessible from this main hatch here uh, negative bus bar and then i have a positive circuit bus bar hidden down in there i have my uh raw water pump my bilge Lower. Uh, another circuit here. This is for all my bilge. I have another bilge that's going to be coming through this, which is the motor mount area. It'll be laced into here. Same color codes. All the bilges are wired with the same color codes that match the uh, switches. And that is, of course, this. And the bilge is in there. So, bilge, automatic switch. Uh, auto switch, high water alarm, that's the vacuum low point suck out. There's another one here that sticks down to the very bottom. They'll come out and they'll be through a scupper, not a scupper, but a through hole on the side where I can walk up and just suck out all the water in the low area. My uh, raw water intake and it's hooked up to my pump. Uh, LED lights, let's see, that's the power negative positive for the Optimus 360 system that will go back in there. And this is the hinge, the hideaway hinge for the big door. So I got one more piece of deck to put on and then I'm going to start welding that frame for this one in. And uh, all my vent hose, I'm just waiting on a 2 inch stainless king nipple to show up for that there which is my two inch gas fill and i laced my wire in from my bilge blower and my raw water pump laced it in and it's down back in here so i'm cutting this piece right now i'll put that one in and then i'm going to put this one in and then i'll tackle that hinge i hope this made mr dale happy Okay, so now I have the engine mount brackets on. The only thing I have left to do is the little piece in the center where the BM inspection hatch and whatnot. So I've added 5x5, five 3-8 five, rounded corner box tubing, two for each engine. So these are the mounts for the zip wake trim tabs and those little round guys are the donuts to mount the chase the raceway for the wiring so that's the swim deck Those two down there are the sacrificial areas to weld on the uh, zinc corrosion control. 
I made little pads to go into the bottoms of these. They'll fill these in. You can see there's a couple holes on each one on each side. Those are quarter 20s. There'll be two bolts on each side so that I can bolt those on and keep the water from gurgling up in them. So that's what it looks like with that little wire way so that the zip wake wire will go up through there and then go through a little waterproof connector. So you can see there's a couple of chases. One's for the uh, build blower and the other oval one is for all the controls that go up in a little area there that'll be on the deck level. Fuel filters, um, the 12 volt start batteries, whatnot. So there's the centerpiece that I'll have to finish when I come back. So I'll have a oh, day, maybe two of finish up on this. And then I'll get ready to paint. I'll roll it over and prep the bottom. It'll take me about a day to get the bottom ready just to go through all the little whatnots to make sure all the welds are good, no little pebbles or anything. And then uh, the next day acid etch it, next day prime it, next day bottom coat it up to that rub rail. And then I'll roll it back over and set it right on the deck to start the sides.